Hey all, Modesty here. Welcome to uh, Modesty Studios, kind of special edition for uh, Cosplay 101. Today I am going on a trip to get a new sewing machine and trade in some of my old ones. So I'm going to try to give you an idea of what it's like to get a sewing machine at a specialty store. So let's get going. I'm excited. Okay guys, we're here at So Much More uh, here in Austin, Texas, and this is where I'm going to get my new machine. Let's go inside. Alright guys, we did it. Oh, let me turn off my air a little, or turn it down a little bit so you can hear me. <sighs> We've got big ass boxes of machines and stuff here in my car. It's like filled to the brim. And boy oh boy did we have some deals. So much so that I actually probably bought more than I could afford. But in any case, <laughs> I do have a new serger and I have a new embroidery slash sewing machine. Uh, both of them are, I think they're both baby locks. So that's a brand new brand. Um, I also got like a crap ton of like embroidery thread that would have cost like 600 bucks for free with the machine I bought at a discount. So <laughs> yeah, these machines are usually like $2,000 or $3,000 for like the serger actually, which, uh, I got to play with a little bit, and uh, now I got them at a sort of discounted price for uh, my trade-in. Granted, I did have to take out a line of credit to pay for one. Hate when I do that, but we got two new machines, so let's go home and check them out, okay? Cool. Okay, so that was my before and my after videos for that big sewing machine experience, but that really doesn't give you an idea of how it actually went down. So here's the abridged version. I go into the store and I see the first person I ask, uh, first person I see I ask about, you know, where can I get this deal because I have, you know, the ad with me. Uh, and she, you know, directed me to a salesperson who brought me immediately to the machine that would be the next step up for the machine I was asking to see. Typical. But, um, you know, show me all the cool features of that machine and I was like, okay, cool. Whatever, let me see the machine I actually wanted to see. Got to see the machine I actually wanted to see tended to have a debate with myself which one I wanted and you know obviously went with the one that I had budgeted myself for um, but you know as I was checking out I also you know was kind of thinking about a uh, surgery machine because I had a surgery to trade in as well and you know of course it was like, oh lit up eyes and here check out this you know surgery machine uh, which was the baby lock imagine and uh, it's a four thread surgery overlock stitch machine and uh, it automatically adjusts tension and it has a ruffler that you don't need a special foot for. So I'm just like, oh, duh. Yeah, that sounds like a cool thing. How much? What's the trading deal? Okay, can I get financing on that? And so I had to go through the process of, you know, filling out the forms for financing. Um, they also had, you know, to shuffle around the whole store trying to find all the special little things that I would get with uh, the trading deals. Like, ugh, I got this like little caboodle thing. Um, I also had to get, you know, some fray, fray block and a little trim catcher for the serger machine. Um, I didn't have to, but I did. Um, and then, so they were trying to search for all that stuff. They were also trying to help me check out because, you know, oh, I have to wait for this to be approved. Oh, it's approved. Now we can, you know, continue with the checkout. Do you want to put this all on financing? I'm like, nope, nope, nope. I want to buy the machine. I have the money for the machine now and I want to pay that one off. The other machine I'll put on financing. Uh, and so of course that means, oh, this machine, you know, this cash register isn't working right or whatever. I'm like, okay, great. That kind of nonsense. Finally got all that done. And finally got all the stuff into my car, which is barely fit, which is where that second half of the video kind of picked up. Whew, that's what it was like. And I think for me, that's not generally a typical trip to the sewing machine store. Uh, because when I got my Elna several years ago, again, it was also a sale. It was like their you know, liquidation, end of the year type of sale. So everything was like you know, a certain amount off, no special deals. I just you know went into the room and said, look, I'm looking for a sewing machine. I like Elna's. Do you got any Elna's? Oh, cool. This looks like a nice Elna. Let me test drive it. Okay, this is a good Elna. I'll buy it. <laughs> and that was it. Uh, and because it also costs a lot less uh, than the two machines I happen to be getting. So 
embroidery machines and surgery overlock machines do tend to be much higher priced than a typical sewing machine. So you probably won't have to deal with the salesperson or financing or all that fun stuff when you're looking for your first sewing machine. You're most likely, uh, I, I can't really give you a super ballpark, but if you're you know purchasing a new machine, you're maybe looking at anything from 200 to 800 dollars for a decently good machine um, but again oh, it depends on the size of the machine there's so many factors so many factors i could not that would be my rough guesstimate for you and yeah so i hope that didn't scare you too much good luck getting your first machine and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos about cosplay art and other fun stuff cheerio